On today's episode of One Up My News, we cover Xbox Live going on Switch. The Walking Dead final season has a release date and Apex Legends explodes. Enjoy the show. You see this thing where the PlayStation 5 might be able to play every other PlayStation generation? Yeah, I did see that article. It's interesting. Uh, it's just a patent, though, right? Yeah, it's, yeah I think it, was, it, was, it actually came out back in, stupid pop-up, 2017 or something. Okay. Uh, Jake actually told me about this, and um, it, it sounds very uh, hopeful, I guess is, would be the, the right word. Exactly. I'm not going to hold my breath, but uh, a lot of people seem to be pretty... It's, you know, one of those things where half the people are hyped and the other half of the people are like, it's not going to happen. I'm just going to wait and see if it does happen. That would be amazing. It would be great to have that, to be able to people be able to get out their old games and just put the disc right in and play them. That'd be awesome. Or, you know, a whole digital library with a whole bunch of great stuff. You know, do give us all the PlayStation games that you didn't give us on the PlayStation Classic because that'd be awesome. Yeah, I don't. I feel like there's a, uh, you know, there's a chance. I don't know how high it is that they could just make them the games available to purchase. Um, but I feel like making them, you know, put the disc in and play in it. That seems like a lot to ask for. Um, yeah, yeah I guess so. You know, because it, how much, how much technology does it really take to play a PS One game? Um, well, it's not. It's not about the technology. It's about. I mean, go ahead. Sorry, cool. I, I interrupt you. I got to turn my fan off anyway. Okay, cool. Keep just. So, I don't know. I was just wondering how much it would actually take to put a PS One game in, and then be able to make it go through HDMI or you know into a 4K TV and make it look good. So. Yeah, there's a lot of. I mean, this is the company who couldn't figure out how to make name changes possible for. I don't even know how long, and they're still working on it, and if you are in the beta, it might delete, like, your saves. Yeah, Sony does a lot of things right, but sometimes when they implement new stuff, it really scares me, because I'm like, how royally is it going to screw up? Yeah, stuff? how are they going to shat the bed on this one? Mm-hmm. It seems, um, I don't know, it seems like a long shot to me. It, it's definitely, you know, it's, I guess it's possible, um... It just doesn't seem likely. It would be insane. Although, I don't have very few of my PlayStation 1 games. I do have a few PS2 games laying around, I think. Most of them just being copies of Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> exactly. Same here. I don't think I have any other PS2 games other than Kingdom Hearts. And I don't own any PS1 games at all. I did see that article that we're, you know, obviously currently talking about. Uh, and it did make me want to go, uh, should I go buy, you know, some PS1 games before this happens and their price goes up if you maybe. plan on going if you plan on buying a playstation one exactly and i was like eh, i figured there's maybe a two percent chance this is actually going to happen so i was like hmm, maybe i should probably should just buy a ps1 and play the games like that but i want to buy a gamecube i need i want to buy a new gamecube because mine isn't working there's also a bunch of uh gamecube games i kind of want to almost want to collect them you know mm-hmm. gamecube is like my favorite console of all time that's on my list of like the first older system i want to get because that's right because you never nope, really had one did you never did man i need to get you one and i always uh and i always went over to people's houses and played them and stuff but i never actually got yeah. to experience the whole i think those i guess mini bagel sized discs are the best thing ever just because i don't know i just really like the size of the disc <laughs> and it's just a really you know i like squares so it's it's a really I love the GameCube, and I, I really, I've been watching, really um, want to own one. I've been watching the uh, no, Normal Boost is having a series called uh, Madness. Um, I'm looking up the price, actually. Um, and they'll, they're doing like top 10 games on systems, and right now they're doing the top 10. Um, I, looked, I just tried to look up eBay on eBay. <laughs> uh, that's, that's what I get for typing while talking. Um, they uh, are doing. It looks like anything. Like it looks like pretty big range from like okay, so twenty to like a hundred bucks. Wow. What? What? So they're selling something on eBay? Is that what it is? No, no, no. I'm sorry. The GameCube. I'm talking. About, I'm talking about the GameCube. Oh, okay. There's 
there's a there's a you can get black, orange, violet, or silver for forty one dollars. They're J- Japanese models. I don't know Ooh, how that changes perfect. anything. Okay. But um, anyway, yeah, uh, normal boot normal boots is doing a uh, top ten uh, games for GameCube right now. I've been watching that. Um, it's really cool, really interesting. I don't agree with a lot of everything they say. But it's really interesting. It's very nostalgic. I definitely recommend that series. Um, they did. They've done PlayStation One, N sixty four, GameCube. Uh, I believe they've done maybe some TV shows or something as well. Um, it's um, the guy that does uh, the um, uh, Did You Know Gamer. It's uh, Gerard the Completionist. Um, it's uh, Pinamoto Gamer. Um, uh, who else is it? Um, Kid Icarus did some of them. Wow, okay. I know a few of those names. That sounds like a pretty knockout lineup. Yeah, and then they have some more people that have kind of uh, guest starred. Um, they're not all on every episode, but I've enjoyed everything I've watched. Definitely. Um, definitely recommend it. Nice. Mm. Well, that's awesome. So. Yeah. Uh, I guess... I think, I think hmm. that's it. I was going to... Yeah, all right. That's uh, that's the podcast. That's the show, guys. No, we do have some new games for you guys. Um, Far Cry New Dawn is already coming out. Yeah, I I wrote down that release date. And oh I was my like, gosh, it's here. Uh, I think I don't know why, but just I, that snuck up on me. I mean, I'm not gonna get it. Me neither, because that guy spoiled the end of Far Cry Five for me, and I was like, I wanted to play. I wanted to play Five, but oh well. Yep. Oh well. Not Apparently, right. this one takes takes place years after Five, which I didn't know. But that comes out the 15th of February on PS4, <clears throat> excuse me, Xbox One and PC. Jump Force comes out on the 15th. We've got a lot of February, February the 15th release dates here. Mm-hmm. Uh, comes out on uh, PS4 and Xbox One. No PC release date on that? Nope. Just, All right. just consoles. Uh, Crackdown 3 also comes out on the, uh, the 15th of February for the Xbox One. Metro Exodus, once again, comes out on February the 15th. On Xbox One, PC, oh, PC, PS4, and it comes out on PC, but it is an Epic Store exclusive unless you pre-ordered it. On Steam, which on I don't Steam. think you can pre-order it anymore. Uh, no, no, you can't. And then, and then uh, uh, we have God Eater 3, which is uh, available now on PC and PS4. And I mean, if you have any, you know, inkling of gaming in your body, you probably know that Apex Legends is out. Exactly. Man, that game is so good. Oh, mm. okay. Well, that's you enjoy it. I, I do too. So let's move on to some news that I've I've seen ev- almost everywhere. Uh, the Xbox Live is coming or is on. Coming on is uh, going to be on the Switch. Have some trouble. <laughs> this is coming from Eurogamer. Xbox Microsoft's Xbox Live program is moving to other devices coming soon, including iOS, Android, and even Switch. Xbox Live achievements, friends, clubs, and game history integrated into other platforms. Quote, Xbox Live is about to get much bigger. Microsoft description reads, Xbox Live is expanding from 400 million game devices to reach over 68 million active players to over 2 billion devices with this release of our cross-platform xdk get a first look at the new sdk to enable game developers to connect players between ios android and switch in addition to xbox and any game in the microsoft store on windows pc end quote that is apparently uh phenomenal yeah, uh, apparently Intel XDK is some kind of uh, integrated development environment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've um, I've heard it thrown around in the uh, computer gaming industry. I th- and then uh, SDK real quick. Sorry, SDK is software development kit. There you go. I think this is awesome. Uh, I like cross platforming because it's a pain, you know, to be a PC gamer and your friends like, "Hey, I want to play this game with you," and I'm like, "I'm not gonna not gonna buy an Xbox. I'm sorry, Jimmy." Not gonna do I it. I mean, to be fair, that this doesn't. I mean, you you can't play Halo on no, your Switch. I, That's not what this means. I know, but I think this is good. It's a it's a good sign that Microsoft is gonna play ball with people, and uh, who knows what exactly they're gonna do with it. But you know, it's like they said, they're trying to just expand uh, 
the experience to more people, which I think is a good thing. It's uh, Microsoft is pretty good when it comes to ex- the things they do with Xbox, at least. Yeah, I agree. Um, they're kind of playing ball. I mean, you could argue that it's because they're losing the generation, and they might they might lose it to Switch. Um, but that's still a good thing. I mean, and this is interesting. I don't think you know. You like I said, you're going to be able to play Halo on your iPhone, but I mean, you might, but you're not going to be able to play it on Switch. I don't think, at the very least. But this just it just shows that they're you know being friendly, I guess. So that'd be cool. Bringing more features, kind of a, like like we said, because they're kind of forced to. Yeah. Uh, later, one more point uh, in this Eurogamer article, they uh, they give an example. If you're playing Warframe on the Nintendo Switch, you could earn Xbox achievements. Uh, oh. Or if you're playing that's cool. if you're playing Fortnite on mobile, you could browse your Xbox friends list to find people to play with. So. It's uh, that's kind of surprised it's not already a thing. I know that's kind of some of the examples they gave in this article. And I think it's really cool uh, because sometimes you know I'm not really an achievement hunter. I know there's tons of y'all out there that are good for you. I'm glad you have something you love that much. I'm kind of I kind of wish that the Switch, excuse me, had some sort of achievement system. Yeah, I I agree, but I wish that okay if the Switch does get achievements. This is how I'd like them to do it. I'd want them to, yeah, sure, give me an achievement, but if I do X thing, give me like a customizable either for that game or for the Switch itself being a theme or like different little... Nah, you're asking for too much. You're asking for way too much. I know, I know, but I can wish. I can wish. (laughs) It would be cool. Well, I would like, and I've heard some people toss this idea around, and I would also like, I believe Microsoft might do this. Uh, um, y'all can let me know. I'm not sure. Um, if you get like a, you, like beat a game 100, 100%, or even if you get like certain trophies that are difficult or whatever, you can get maybe some like currency, you know, for the e-store. So, yeah, so like if you beat a game, it doesn't give you like enough to buy another game, but it might give you, you know, a little something on the side. Gotcha. Well, just encourage people to keep playing. That because uh, you know people do want to keep playing. You get to keep playing. That's true. That does make a lot more sense. It is much easier than than my uh, implementation of a uh, uh, reward system for achievements. So, man, this Apex Legends really is exploding. That's crazy. How well? Yeah, it's according going. to Ingadget, especially. Um, as you might know, Apex Legends is out and. Uh, with uh, with little pre-launch hype and seemingly no advertising, Respawn's Apex Legends has come out of nowhere and become one of the most popular video games in the world. Even though even though the game has only been out a few days, Respawn CEO Vince Zampella stated that it has already attracted over 10 million players in just three days on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Also getting over it, it also has gotten uh, over one one million concurrent players players playing you know at the same time uh it's also the biggest game on twitch at the time of recording with just under three hundred thousand viewers and i wrote this a few hours ago so that might be up or down depending exactly this is insane it so ryan told me about it and you know i'm not a big titanfall fan i i like it uh but he was like hey, I, I enjoy titanfall quite a bit he was like hey this is out you want to check it out and i was like Sure, whatever. So, you know, I got it to download, and then I played it, and I was like, guys, this is amazing. Like, I'm really bad at it, but this is so much fun. With randoms, with... And then I started playing with my friends. Now it's over 300,000. Wow. On Twitch. Uh, And then I started playing with friends, and it just became progressively more fun. I enjoyed it so much within, like, the first couple hours, I gave them $20. Because I was like, here, just take it. Like, you deserve it. Like you made this good of a game for, for free, and yeah, yeah, it has some bugs, you know, and different stuff. But it's been out only for like four days or something now, and it's just, man, it's good. It's really good. Um, I didn't really enjoy Fortnite because um, it's very slow, and I don't like the art style really. Uh, PUBG, I've I've played like once, and it like it ran like garbage. Uh. Black Ops was a uh, Blackout was okay, but man, this is legitimately good. Yeah, I exactly. really enjoy this game. 
Uh, I've never understood Battle Royale or why people like it until this game. Me neither. You know, Fortnite was the building, didn't like it. Black Ops was just too... I don't know. There's something about it didn't click with me. Never touched PUBG, but this, it just, like... Just made sense, you know. I'm, I can tell I'm getting better, and it's just I can sit here and talk about this game for forever. But I'm gonna roll back into the next topic, and it actually has to do with Apex Legends, and it's free stuff, free bonuses. Thank you, GameSpot, for this article. So if you subscribe to Origin Access, PlayStation Plus, or the Xbox exclusive EA Access, Respawn is now offering free loot in the game. Both the Origin Access and EA Access bonus packs are given automatically the first time you log in. Each will give you an epic weapon skin, a banner card, a banner card badge, and a thousand Apex coins. The PlayStation Plus bonus is a separate item that has to be manually downloaded from the PlayStation Store. If you get it gets you two PlayStation themed weapon camos for the flatline gun and the RE45 along with character skins and banners for Gibraltar and Bloodhound. So Gibraltar is like this big tanky Hawaiian man, and this Bloodhound guy is like this super edgelord supreme that has a crow that like hunts people. He's like a tracker. So I think that's awesome. I honestly kind of thought about doing the whole EA, or sorry, the Origins Access thing, so I could get some yeah. free loot. Uh, but I haven't looked at any, <laughs> any further into it. I've been either uh, sleeping or playing uh, Apex. <laughs> So, I mean, this game is everywhere, um, I, and what, what really blows me away is that in, there was like no hint, like no, it, no one knew about this game, you know? No, not at all. So, you know, there wasn't there wasn't any height trains to get on. There wasn't any salt death holes to fall in. There were rumors that that uh, that they were gonna drop a, a battle royale game, right? It, yeah, and then excuse me, that was it. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> and then it just boom, there it is. And every people that don't even play video games know about this right now. It's just, and it, I can't even compare it to Fortnite because it's not. It's not even in its own. It's in its own thing. The characters don't feel overpowered. There's no building, which is awesome in my opinion. Well, the characters in Fortnite don't feel overpowered well, at all because they're just the same character with just uh, well, skin yeah. swapped. I just mean like people are some people are comparing it to like Overwatch, how there's different heroes to pick. But if the Overwatch characters were in a battle royale, it would suck. Like it'd be real bad. This, well, they'd have to rework it. But, yeah. You couldn't just pop them in there. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but with this, it's three man squads, and it's just it's great. Uh, it's really really awesome yeah so if you play it and you have uh ps plus xbox or uh pc the pc uh origins uh, one of these services uh you can get some free skins and stuff i don't well i have, I have playstation plus but i don't play it on PC, uh, playstation so there's not any point in me doing that so yeah i excuse me we're positive almost everyone has heard about apex legends like yeah but if you haven't and you got some time and you got an xbox one ps4 or pc check, check it, it out. out it's free um we next up we have some more respawn news uh the developer of the massively popular battle royale game is working on more of their original ip that they became known for titanfall so um many think that the uh, mainline Titanfall games have kind of been like because this is so popular, but uh, according to EA, uh, this is far from the truth. In its uh, quarterly earnings call, EA said that it has a premium Titanfall something coming this year. EA's Andrew Wilson also said that, quote, while I don't have more to share with the particulars of what we have coming from Titanfall, we find are a tremendously creative studio. They always anticipated that AP Legends would be a spectacular game. Oh, my throat is dry in the battle royale genre and that they'd use that as a ramp <clears throat> to point out a, a to, oh my gosh as a ramp point to deliver a truly creative take on what titanfall is in a premium context later on in the year end quote that's <clears throat> awesome i you know just seeing that just seeing how well they did with apex legends it's really good for the titanfall fans that they're gonna try to make a titanfall something coming yeah. this year because people would be super pissed if they gave us yes epic legends is cool good job you did a great job on that and they're gonna keep doing a great job on it i'm sure 
Uh, but if they didn't give us a Titanfall 3 or something, I know there's a lot well, of people we, that would be very, very Well, that, that's the thing. Uh, earlier, actually, the guy who, uh, what's his name? Where is he? Drew McCoy said that they're not making Titanfall 3, I guess, right now. Um, it, said, it just said, from what I can see, it just said they're not taking, making Titanfall 3. I would assume that they were eventually. So we don't know what this something is. We just know that they are working on more Titanfall. It could be anything, really. We don't know. I'm going to call it right now and say it's either going to be a Netflix show or a mobile game. If well, it's gonna it's gonna be made by we we know it's gonna be made by uh, Respawn, so it's probably gonna be some kind of video game. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe. So, it's, maybe but it's like if a they release queen. if they release Apex Legends and a um full Titanfall three game in one year, that would be impressive. That would be. This uh, I highly recommend Titanfall two. So anybody out there, you probably get it for cheap. Probably. For me, someone that Respawn hasn't ever really been on my radar, I just know of them. With these two things, now I definitely, they're definitely on my radar for a studio that I will be looking out for because they they just, they surprised me. And I, you know, in this day and age with spoilers from the internet, sometimes it's really hard to be surprised. So kudos to Respawn and keep up the awesome work. Uh, speaking of things that are also pretty great and fantastical, mine is no news released an article and they finally gave us a release date for the walking dead final season the critically acclaimed series is finally getting an ending which is beautiful and bittersweet on march 22nd sorry, you don't know if it's bittersweet i'm just i'm saying it's bittersweet mm -hmm. that the series that's is getting ending. an ending yes i'm not saying the ending is bittersweet i do not know anything that's going to happen and i'm behind on some of the chapters but the release date is march 26th of this year the episode titled Take Us Back will also come in a physical edition of the entire final season coming out the same day. Okay, so I talked that really weirdly. So uh, the physical edition, it's going to, Take Back Us is going to come in a physical edition with the rest of the final season. That's what I meant to type. Thank you for the uh, help and correction. So I think this is a great, I, so it's just going to be the final season of the physical edition. It's not going to be the full series. No. Okay. Well, I need to go scrounge these games up because they're not on Steam anymore. So they're not at all. Really? Mm -mm. No. I'm pr wow. I'm, I'm like ninety percent sure they're not on Steam. I don't know where I could get them. Uh, I, I need to check. Get them on PlayStation. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I could just do that. That's smart. I don't know why I wanted them. I guess I started on PlayStation. I should end on PlayStation, sort of a thing. That'd be be nice to do that. I need to play season uh, three. I never played season three. I'm gonna go back and just play all of them. It's it's not that long. To do all of them because I honestly can't remember all the little details and such. So I want to go back and experience no, all yeah, that. But I guess I'll do it wouldn't that take long. I'm, I'm just gonna play three and four probably. The, I really enjoyed out. the games. Um, I actually liked two. I think a lot more than other people did. But uh, I for one was pretty much you know across the board critically acclaimed. Yeah, exactly. So I think this is awesome. I was really happy. It's really really cool to see the uh, what is it the cover art. On, on boxes. It just makes me like super giddy because you know we got Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm super happy about that uh, but it's the Walking Dead final season. It's like... Yeah, you're right. It is kind of bittersweet, I guess. It's like that's that's awesome. Like finally. You know, there's all this this up and down of this roller coaster. Are we going to get it? We're not going to get it? Like what? How's, how's the story going to end? Uh, it's just like it's like a, a really well written story that it's they just stopped making chapters and they made more chapters and then it's like what's what's gonna happen it's 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 like a story that i'm emotionally invested in because i want to know truly what happens to these fictional characters it really is sad um what happened to telltale games oh yeah man they they were such a good company they yeah maybe they they'll, maybe they'll go and make comic books like well the the company doesn't exist anymore i know but maybe some you know if you got tons of money just uh, do a GoFundMe page for Telltale. <laughs> I don't know if they... <laughs> Telltale Games re rehires. That that'd be uh. So what, what you clicking, clacking? What you googling? I'm I'm looking to see if um, The Walking Dead is available on Steam. Cause I, I think just typed it... in The Walking Dead game. I don't think it is. I think they took it off, and I don't <laughs> I don't know why. Well, the final season is available on Steam. I know that because if yeah. you pre-ordered it on Steam. So. 
You got it on Steam. Huh, well. I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> it's asking about my age and all this crap. It's. Oh, yeah, I ain't got no time for that. I wish they could just remember my age. Ex- exactly. You think Steam would. Come on, Valve. Remember how old I am. Get it together. You send me a happy I'm birthday a- message. I mean, they send us happy birthday emails. At least they do me. You know, why, why don't you remember how old I am? I don't think they send me a happy birthday message. I might be dreaming that. It might actually not be true. <laughs> Holy so. crap. Five new and refurbished copies of Animal Crossing for $140. What? Why? You're out of your mind. Why is it that much money? Man, that's crazy. I'm gonna. I, I, I'm, I'm looking up. I'm gonna look up Animal Crossing. Okay, on Steam. Yeah, this is. No, it's not on Steam. It's. That'd be crazy. It's a if, Nintendo exclusive. I know, but that'd be crazy if Animal Crossing was on Steam. Yeah, it would be. Since it'd be unplayable. Yep, that's right. Where is Animal Crossing? There's not a whole lot of co- twenty five dollars. This this is twenty five dollars. So I don't know what you're trying to do, trying to suffer. One hundred forty dollars. You're out of your damn mind. Do you still have eBay open? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a dark hole, man. Just back away, back away. I will never. I'll buy on eBay, but I will never sell on eBay again. No oh gosh, no, me neither. I don't think I've ever sold on eBay ever, like at all. So it's one of those things. It's just kind of, you know, not gonna happen. That's uh, that's it for the Walking Dead news. Uh, Kingdom Hearts three has done over 5 million copies shipped. And we helped to get them to that number. We added two copies, baby. Two copies. And Jake. So three copies, which is awesome. Well, that's Jake doesn't count in, in our we. Okay, that's true. I mean, everyone I know, I probably I probably know 30 people that bought it. Yeah, that that is insane. I'm really excited to do our Kingdom Hearts 3 episode coming. Oh, my gosh. Coming sometime this Dude. year. Yes. Uh, open up that tweet from uh, the, the Square Enix or, or the uh, Kingdom Hearts account tweet. Click on that link. Yeah, I got it open. Okay, now scroll up and look at the top comment. <laughs> uh, I I would encourage y'all to do it, but I doubt it'll be the same by by that time. <laughs> that's funny. Um, let's see. That's all of that's about it though, because that was a tweet. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not uh, surprised. Uh, it'll probably, I'm sure it'll keep selling. It'll probably be one of the top sellers of the year, but I, it won't be like the number one seller. It's no. too, it's a little too niche for that. After a so while, like, yeah, exactly. After a while, I think it'll kind of just peter off, and you know, there'll yeah. be one or two copies. I will say my local Target, I already have it, but I went and looked, and they only had like one or two copies. They didn't even have an Xbox copy out. They had one PS, like one or two PS4 copies, and I was like, "Wow, okay, cool. I guess people, you know, just bought it up." But you know, that's good for them. Glad they're enjoying. Maybe they had like, make they had the rest of them in the back or something. I maybe, don't know. Maybe who knows? Target I've does never, weird stuff. With video games. I've never been. I mean, I've been in Target, but I haven't been in in them a lot. They don't. We don't really have them where I live, so yeah. I'm kind of jealous because I do like Target. Me too. I go. I never end up with just what I want. Never. Never, never. Never, ever? Never, ever. I mean, I will always end up with like three or four more things because I'm like, oh, I could use this. I could use this. And I'm like, no, stop it. I don't need all this crap. Stupid Target. So, yeah. EA Access. Just, uh, I'm going to roll right into this. Game is probably an article. Fine. EA Access is coming to PS4. EA the EA Access. Let's see how many times I can see EA Access during this bit. Coming to the new platform, it may be PS4. During an earning call, the company said, quote, In the year ahead, we plan to offer a subscription service to another major platform, end quote. That's about all we know. But years ago, Sony said that EA Access, quote, does not bring the kind of value PlayStation customers have to expect, end quote. Quote, we don't think asking our fans to pay an additional Five dollars a month for the specific EA program represents good value to the PlayStation gamer. End quote. Uh, Sony, what? You don't like money? It's our money. Let us choose what we want to do with it. Will I be giving EA five dollars a month? Hell no. Uh, <laughs> I mean, EA Access has got some uh, interesting things. Oh yeah, and I- we don't know. 
I technically really don't know if this is uh, PlayStation because it, it just says a popular um, platform, so we don't actually 100% know. True. Uh, for those of you that are, that are unfamiliar with EA Access, it's a subscription service, so you can either pay $5 a month or $30 for a year, which I'd say is pretty dang good for a year, really. Like, 30 bucks. here you go, you get a year of it. It's a growing library of games that you get for free, uh, essentially, even, you know, you pay a year for it, or a monthly, however you want to do it, along with discounts on all EA digital content. So, I think that's pretty great. Um, I honestly might end up giving them EA some money with this, uh, with this Apex Legends, especially if they do like a Seasons Pass like they do in Fortnite. No, don't worry, don't flame me. I did not buy a Seasons Pass in Fortnite because I've only played maybe 20 games of that altogether. But I could definitely see myself buying a season Pass of Apex Legends. Sorry to turn this into an Apex Legends podcast, but I'm, I'm really, I'll, it makes me happy. So, EA. Oh, it's doing, very popular right now. EA doing moves, man. They're making moves. They're making juice EA over news. there. They're just, uh, they're trying not to pull Bethesda right now, so... I mean, it's they're looking better than Bethesda. Yeah, at least. they are. Man, I'm just I just glad that there was no Bethesda news this week. I'm I'm me too. I am so sick of Bethesda news. I'm sick of Fallout 76 news. It's just it's on sale for thirty dollars at stores near me, and I'm like, I'm not buying that. I wouldn't buy it. I, I might get it and frame it if it was free. Maybe if they hey, gave Jordan. if they gave me the frame. Yeah. You can buy a Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, looks like Metroidvania combo pack, for three hundred and fifty nine dollars on eBay. Dude, send me that link. Who? I don't. No one's buying this. I don't either. I guess they're just on there and they hope that they get one sell and they're good. It it's, has to be like. Are people just like? Maybe I'll. It's, I don't even think it's new. I don't think it is either. It's. It it's looks ins- like it's. Doesn't look, it looks like eBay it's right. is it's one definitely, of, it's definitely opened. eBay yes. is one of the trolliest places on the internet. It is so scary. I mean, this is interesting, but it, I guess because it's it's rare because it has like a combo what? of the two games. But yes, yes, right now, it's okay. I can edit this out. Three. No, we're not editing anything out. Okay, fine. Since you this said is natural, baby. Okay, hang on. We shut this door and put this uh, wind guard up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it, it, his entire family is in. <laughs> he, he's he's, he's got to go back downstairs and get groceries. So I just locked that door and shut it for nothing. So, uh, um, but yeah, this this co- What are you doing? Stop! If you if you have an, there's a it's a used copy. You could probably get those games combined. I think I saw Metroid Prime on eBay earlier for like less than twenty dollars. Man, this is just a live show. Yeah, live show. I honestly uh, might leave all this in. Maybe. Legend of Zelda. Are you just Googling stuff on eBay now? Yeah, well, I'm not Googling. I'm eBaying it. eBay? What are you looking for? Are you trying to find me a... Uh, no, no, no. I'm trying just, to... I'm just astonished that people are trying to sell this stuff for so much money. Yeah, there's a copy of Wind Waker for, for $20. Huh. Okay. Like, stop trying to sell people stuff for too expensive. Stop. Exactly. I typed in Japanese GameCube on eBay, and I can get a Wario World GameCube Japanese import, Nintendo GameCube, NGC GameCube, JPay, US seller B, pre owned for $22.19. Why Japanese GameCube? I don't know. I just wanted to see what comes up. There's a lot of Naruto games, there's a Bleach game. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> oh, we got Donkey Konga. Okay, let's not make this an eBay podcast. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be great. Okay, well, I guess we can try to cover this last article in news before he comes in the door with all this, uh, this stuff. Race against the clock. Okay. Man, I wish they'd bring back Break the Targets. I, I, I can't, what is that? I know the name, it's but a, I can't, it's a, I can't it was place a smash. it. smash. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Smash Brothers. I remember it now. Yeah. Break the targets. I like that one. I, w- I want them to bring back the uh, punching bag. Oh uh, yeah, sandbag. Yeah. yeah, sandbag. That was fun. Okay, let's see if we can get through this before. Uh... Okay. 
PlayStation Cloud Storage gets an upgrade. PlayStation Lifestyle. Sometime soon, the PlayStation Cloud Storage is going from 10 gigs to 100 gigs. Although no exact release date has been given, uh, speculation is saying that it'll be early this month. Thank you, PlayStation Lifestyle. I think that's great. It's awesome. It's great. It's kind of crazy. 100. It's going from 10 gigabytes to literally multiplying that by 10. Exactly. It's kind of crazy. I'm grateful that uh, Sony has enough money that they can do that. It's really cool. Um, yeah, they've. I mean, their PlayStation Plus, like, they have a lot of uh, PlayStation Plus accounts. I think it's it's a lot. It's a lot, it's and it's lot. PlayStation Plus is super worth it because I can buy it once and not worry about it until the little icon goes away, and then I'm like, oh, okay, I need to give you more money. Here's more money. Don't think about it. It just works. It's awesome. It's really what uh, Nintendo should do. They should take. Uh, some viewpoints from Sony and be like, hey, this is how I make our live service better and give us fracking voice chat, Nintendo. Ugh. That's, that's how I feel. So. I do agree on that front. Um, that, like, um, Nintendo's service is super cheap, but it kind of feels like it's super cheap. Oh, yeah, you know. I probably should upgrade it to a year. We should honestly just go half seat, like go on, go in on a family plan with our friends that have, uh, yeah, me, that have you, switches, Jake. like me, you, oh, yeah. me, you, uh, and then our other friends that have switches. Uh, yeah, we have several. We could probably do it for like two bucks each. Probably we should we should get a we should get a little group message going um, and see if people want to do that. Apparently, when I can just understand, as of la- it says as of the last measure period, Sony's PlayStation Network has roughly eighty million active users. Wow. That's a lot of money. Holy crap. That's got to be, I don't know, that is. a we, lot of money. And you got to assume that most, I'd say more than half the people are doing the year. Hey, here's, how much is it, 50, 60 bucks? I don't know. I just pay it and don't think about it. Uh, I, yeah, I, I used to do the three-month periods because I don't like to, I don't have to pay like the 50, 60 bucks. But exactly. Yeah. Um, it is nice. Uh that's not. That's about all the rest of the story, though. Yeah, it's, it's cool, really it. but that's about it. Uh, we do have some uh, some deals for you before we drop out of these. We got uh, Epic Store. You can get Axiom Verge for free uh, from 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 February, excuse me, the seventh until the twenty first. I'm probably gonna pick that up as soon as. Oh, and Thimbleweed Park. Oh, Thimbleweed, mm-hmm. Thimbleweed Park. That's also a good game. Uh, get that from February the twenty first until March. The seventh. Um, yeah. So market calendars. Go ahead. I, I believe there's a PlayStation uh, sell store going on right now, but I also believe that it's it's going to be over. By early. the time they if, hear if you download this podcast really early in the morning, you might be able to catch it. Exactly. Certain parts of the world, it might you know time differences and stuff. So check it out. But it may already be a, um, a, um, over. But I just want to let you guys know that there is a, a PlayStation sale going on currently exactly i'm trying to get into the routine of actually checking the epic store and just downloading these games or not downloading them necessarily but adding them to my library so that i can just play them later and i went yeah i forgot to get some not again now i'm sad uh yeah i went ahead and got axiom verge and uh, i'm gonna get thumbleweed park just because it looks so interesting Uh, but because one of my friends he posted a thing in my discord and was like hey this game is free you should get it and i was like okay cool i'll click the link and it was it was gone i guess uh I forgot that the EA, not EA, sorry, Epic Store operates on a different time zone than me, and so the deal had ar- the the time had already been changed. Yeah, so. usually uh, a lot of times it, the the uh, it'll say like, you know, eight a.m. Exactly, and then and then it, it'll, it'll say Pacific Standard Time or Eastern Standard Time or whatever. So and it sucked because it was one of those really great. I think I forgot what it's called, Jack in the Box something. It was like a Jack multiplayer party pack. Yeah, that and that would have been really fun just to sit around and chill on Discord in a call and play with some friends, you know, catch up, house life, sort of a thing, and it sucks. I didn't get that. So I might just end up buying if it's not too expensive. I haven't looked at the price of it or anything. But that's really it for the uh, podcast today. And anything else yes, you need or want sir. to add? Mm-hmm. The, the Dead Space creator might be making a new game. Yeah, keep keep an eye out for that. Um, that's that's really it. Just uh, make sure you use the internet responsibly. Have fun. Uh, Actually, soccer is trying to change the esports game. Thank whatever you. Whatever that for, means. Thank you. For, yeah, it, it's like it's Rocket yeah, League. It, it, it's Rocket yeah, League. Yeah, see that. But if, apparently, uh, with like planes or something. No, it's it's cars. You're just gonna have guns on the cars. 
Well, ah. they're they're like hovercrafts. Okay, they just look kind of so, like planes. They yeah, they do. So I thought oh that was interesting, gosh. but they're like news stories on the side on, on underneath these websites on the bottom are just oh they're really, they're, they're really creepy. Weird. I'm like and, why? What is this? And they're definitely gonna don't click them. They're definitely gonna give you viruses. Why? So. Like these are well known news sites. Why? I, I don't know. It, I don't. I don't know why they have to have this. Uh, this. This ad or anything like that. So it, it's kind of creepy. It kind of scares me. But that's been really it for the show. Uh, Twenty five plus perfectly timed photos that almost broke the internet. Well, you know, y'all can go check that out after you listen to this show. Uh, our intro and outro music is "Back to Business" by the Healy Brothers. Hang on, let me take a take some drink of this Tang. The only person who drinks Tang after 1997, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen. Me, yep. Is the only, just like the only, he's also the only person who likes the... Um, gummy Ships and Kingdom the Hearts gummy 3, gummy Ships baby. and Kingdom Hearts. And Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. I want to talk to you about them uh, during our Kingdom Hearts uh, 3 okay. episode, but I don't want to spoil that. Of course. Uh, I've been retaining all my knowledge and feelings <coughs> about Kingdom Hearts 3, even I'm like... Just, <coughs> I'm on the Frozen World. Even uh, even in our group text and stuff, uh, I've been like just not saying anything because I'll just sit down and I'll be like blah, 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 feelings, blah, 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 words. So I'm, I'm keeping all that in. So our intro and outro song is "Back to Business" by the Heatley Brothers. Uh, we did take our website down, and the reason is we just decided we were doing too much too soon for our personal schedules and. Yeah, we don't want to get burnt out or anything. Same thing, kind of with the Patreon we talked to y'all about. It's just it's just more time and energy that we could be uh, putting towards things that we have to do. Exactly, like school or work, and also us. The po- actual podcast and the trying actual to figure podcast. Out. You know how to make it better, how to make one up my news, the one of the best news shows out there, and also how to do uh, one up me topically better and more fun as well, and just for our general well being you know because it, it's you know it's our show slash company slash baby so you know we can do relatively whatever we want so that's uh that's why we decided to take it down uh you can still interact with the podcast and us on twitter so the podcast twitter is one of me podcast you know obviously on twitter i'm at a sway like on twitter ryan is ryan divisions on twitter like we have mentioned in many other shows we do a topic show that comes out on wednesdays called one up me we, I could not tell you what we're talking about today, but or t- tomorrow, you know, whenever, whenever we record one up me, uh, we'd really appreciate it if you leave us a review on iTunes and, or anywhere else you listen to podcast. If there's a review thing, just give us one. That'd be great. Uh, you can listen to the show on Spotify. I've seen so many of y'all doing that. Thank you. We appreciate it. Uh, that is a nifty little easy place to share the podcast from because most people have Spotify on their phone. You know, you can even share it to your Instagram story if you have one of those. And we do have an Instagram. It's one of me gaming. And we post little tidbits out there every once in a while. It's usually like little uh, cool looking pictures we make to put on there to promote the show. Uh, you can email the show, one of me podcast at gmail.com. And if you want to listen to the show early, you can join us on Patreon. That'd be great. Uh, we got a dollar tier. That's like 25 cents an episode. And, you know, if you can't afford that, we 100% understand we're regular people just like you we we get it money is very important that's why we work so hard to to save it uh but the best thing you can do is just tell people about the show if you really truly enjoy the show tell your friends tell your families if you don't enjoy the show tell us that's how we get better that's how we continue to make things that everybody can enjoy Uh, we have an amazon affiliate link it's in the description shop on amazon use that link be it'd be cool uh that's really it for yeah. Check out our podcast on Bird Box if you haven't. Exactly. Yeah, we that was a that was a fun ride. Uh, we should do we should do another one, uh, another Netflix Netflix or another Bird movie. Box. No, uh, I mean I think <laughs> I think I could I could probably squeeze out another another Bird Box uh, podcast. Uh, I mean we we didn't even cover some of the stuff that you know we didn't even cover how the water sounded when you're blindfolded. So. That's that's really it. We appreciate y'all listening. We really do. This is a joyous, fun thing to do, and uh, it's great. We hope y'all have a wonderful week. Keep playing games. Let us know what your favorite uh, game you're playing. What, let us know what your favorite game you played this weekend is on Twitter, at Podcast, and uh, play on. <laughs> <laughs>